talking about cover crops and nitrogen. Let's talk about that relationship. When you think about that, there are like two types of cover crops. We have those that are able to fix nitrogen. In other words, they can produce nitrogen. And those are like the legumes. On the other side, we have those cover crops that are not able to produce what they do. They can go and scavenger, and they are called scavenger cover crops, and they can tie up the nitrogen and release that later. All right, so we know about this tube, and now the question is, which cover crop should I use? Should I focus on one that's gonna add nitrogen to my system, or in, in, in the one that's gonna tie up the nitrogen and release later? The answer is depends. It's gonna depend on what is your final goal. Is my final goal to add nitrogen to my system? Is my final goal to maybe to reduce my nitrogen fertilizer inputs in my system? In that case, I'm going with those nitrogen fixing cover crops. They are called legumes. So, as some examples, they are cowpea, hairy vetch, uh, clovers. They can fix depending on which species you're using, uh, depending on your seeding rates, they can fix up to 80, 100 pounds of nitrogen an acre. But if my goal is actually, okay, I, I do have enough nitrogen, but my goal is to minimize losing that to leaching. I wanted to reduce the chance of that nitrogen to go to the lake, to the river. In that case, I'm gonna be using this cover crops called scavenger cover crops. Such examples, uh, some examples they are Cerari, radish, millet, uh, sturgeon, uh, sudden grass. What they do is really amazing. When you plant them, let's say during the fall when you, know, you don't have a crop over there, they're gonna take up that nitrogen, tie that up, and they're gonna release that later, next spring when you plant your next crop. That's amazing because it's gonna reduce the chance of that uh, nitrogen to be lost to leach and it's gonna be available for your next year crop. Now, Let's think about seeding rates. When I think about uh, those scavenger cover crops or nitrogen fixing cover crops, what are the seeding rates? The answer for that, guess what? Is us, it depends. It's gonna depend on your seeding rates, on your species. So, um, so, 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 so for example, let's think about uh, cowpea and terai. They do require higher rates of, uh, of planting, up to like 90 pounds an acre. If you think about, let's say, radish or hairy vetch, those rates are way lower. All right, so that's all we have. And if you have any more questions, feel free to talk to us at the Cobra Crop team or go to our website.